Welcome back to The Factor on Censored. Scandalous allegations out of the Texas Capitol tonight. Representative Brian Slayton of Royce, which is just northeast of Dallas, is under investigation by the legislature after allegations he had an inappropriate relationship with a 19-year-old intern. Fellow conservatives, Representative Steve Toth out of the Woodlands and Briscoe Kane here in the Houston area are hot about it, calling for Slayton to resign now. This comes after allegations the married lawmaker and former pastor had an alcohol-fueled rendezvous with a 19-year-old intern. Now, we caught up with State Representative Ron Reynolds in Austin, and he has a front-row seat to the investigation and what's going on. So, Representative Reynolds, what do we know so far? We know there is an investigation underway. We know Representative Slayton has uh, retained an attorney. We know a 19-year-old intern at the Capitol has retained an attorney as well. From there, where do we go with this? So right now, Isaiah, um, there is a investigation that the Texas House General Investigative Committee is conducting. Uh, it's just preliminary. It's just getting started. These allegations just surfaced. Uh, and so Representative Slayton, as you have stated, has retained a criminal attorney, uh, attorney uh, nonetheless, uh, that that to represent him and his interest. Uh, it is uh, some serious allegations. I mean, he is 45 years old. Uh, this was a 19 year old intern that he's uh, alleged to have uh, invited to his apartment uh, after uh, some drinks. Obviously, she's not 21, so she shouldn't have been drinking anyway, but allegedly uh, they were drinking earlier, uh, and he invited her to his apartment uh, to uh, discuss some some matters uh, in private. There was no one else there, uh, and allegedly uh, he made inappropriate uh, sexual advances at her uh, against her wishes. So those are the allegations. Uh, obviously, he's presumed innocence, but uh, many of his uh, own conservative colleagues have already called for his res resignation based on their review of the allegations. Uh, and, and so that was surprising because these are the Freedom Caucus, the most conservative members that he is very tight with. This is his crew. These are his homies. Two of his homies have called for his public resignation. So they didn't do this in privately, quietly. Hey, Representative Slayton, I think you should go. They've openly stated this. And so this has caused quite a stir and commotion in the Texas House. Now, we know those two who have called for his resignation, fellow Republicans, fellow conservatives, Briscoe Kane. I talked to him briefly tonight. He said he wasn't available for Zoom right now, but he would talk in the future. And uh, State Representative T Steve Toth from the Woodlands, representing my area, we haven't had a chance to talk with him. So this is huge to have. Two Republicans calling for a Republican to resign after these allegations. Why do you think they have moved so swiftly, so quickly on this matter, asking that uh, State Representative Brian Slayton resign? Isaiah, that, this is unusual. This, these aren't what you would consider rhinos, Republican in name only, people who are adversaries. These are his, these is, this is his crew. So we were all, I mean, this is the talk is, it's shocking because these it's like you two people from you from your crew at Fox News are saying, "Hey Isaiah, we think you should resign," and they do it publicly on on Fox News during the air. It would be that compelling. So I'm sure this has sent a shockwave to Representative Slayton because these are the people that he frequently frequently caucuses with uh, against the Speaker, against many of the other Republicans that are considered moderate moderate or mainstream Republicans. These are pretty much uh, the, the the ones that throw the grenades. But the most troubling part is not just that, but it's the hypocrisy because even though these are allegations, uh, Representative Slayton is a married man, but on top of that, he is a, uh, a self-devout Christ, conservative Christian that's a pastor. So this is someone who you would expect and hold in higher regard because he's a man that it professes to be a preacher. And uh, we've seen it all too often, Isaiah. I don't know if the allegations are true, but we've seen many of this hypocrisy from the far right. They, they make allegations against, real against the LGBTQ community because it's quote, immoral and unjust. They, they are against gambling and casino gaming. They're against legalizing marijuana. They're, these are the same folks that said we shouldn't have 
um, you know, sports betting. And here it is, these allegations, if true, show that he's just another hypocrite. No, and, and you say, when you say they, he has specifically introduced and authored legislation or bills trying to get them passed when it comes to the LGBTQ oh. community, when it comes to, I think, abortion as well, right? Absolutely. Oh, yeah. Uh, he's, and many other, big what one. they consider moral issues. Moral issues. Now and, he's and, dealing with this dilemma. Yeah, just... and, and Isaiah, what it quickly reminds me of, and I, and I hate to say it, but, but Trump and these recent allegations with Stormy Daniels, he's this Christian conservative and he's paying hush money to cover up an affair. This representative is married he touts he's this christian conservative that, that's not what i say that is what he says he goes around quoting the bible and quoting scriptures on the house floor telling people they're immoral that homosexuality is wrong that adultery is wrong that this and that is wrong so he's the one that puts his faith on the front line and then now he finds himself in this unfortunate situation where many uh, several in his own Freedom Caucus, who's this far right Christian conservatives, are now telling him publicly that he should resign. They have seen the allegations against him and they are not giving him the benefit of the doubt. I say he's presumed innocent. Let the investigation take place. Uh, but his own homies are the ones that are saying he needs to go right now. Now, once again, we have reached out or I'm telling you now, we have reached out to his office, have not heard back. We also reached out to fellow Republican Briscoe Kane to have him on to bring some balance to this conversation, yeah. even though he said, I want him to resign, but he declined to come on tonight as well. And of course, this platform is open to uh, State Representative Brian Slayton if he ever wants to come on The Factor. State Representative Ron Reynolds, thank you for joining us here on The Factor tonight.